Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video We're going to be showing you how to get this new monthly awards Marcus Simeon Now first off we're gonna go through all the cards in this program starting off with Austin Meadows This card to me is really a bench bat a little bit uh, Very good against righties unusable against lefties in my opinion. They actually really uh, juiced up his defense But still just a bench bat card Here's a card I actually thought would be the lightning player in this program. They actually really snubbed him of an overall, Jesse Winker. Uh, I thought he would have a lot better hitting attributes, but they juiced up his defense, which is good. And I think he is a dark horse candidate for the finest Reds card later on in the year in Team Affinity Stage 4. Next is Brandon Crawford. The thing that really kills this card is the 29 speed. But as a platoon bat against righties, he is amazing. I like Brandon Crawford's swing. Not the best in the game, but it's pretty good. 98-113 against righties is phenomenal with goal defense over to short. That is very good. As you can see through this program, there are top snap packs scattered all the way around. And the way you get these players is through this pack and then in the top snap moments, which everyone should be doing every single week that they come out. Next is Ryan Tapera. He is a relief pitcher card, 112 hits per nine, 88 Ks per nine. Primary cutter, this card is just okay. He's not amazing. He doesn't throw exceptionally hard. He does have a primary cutter, and he can be very good at for your no money spent budget quad bullpen. Next off is Ramon Laureano. Now, this card's kind of interesting. His hitting attributes are kind of strange. 49 contact versus right. It's unusable on the difficulties I play on Hall of Fame and Legend, but that is very good if you're on All Star. It is decent enough. 125 max contact against lefties, 105 power against righties, and 85 versus lefties. This could be a bench bat for you against lefties, or if you're on all-star, this could be a very nice center fielder with that 99 arm strength, 99 arm accuracy out there in center. Next, we do have Corey Kluber. I guess SCS felt bad for not giving us a no-hitter card of the tops now. They gave him one for his 1,500 strikeouts. But this Kluber is pretty good at 92 stamina, 111 hits per nine, 84 Ks per nine, 92 control, looking at the individual pitch control, 92 on the sinker, 99 on the cutter and slurve, 87 on the four seam, and 83 on the changeup. On the break, max on the slurve, and 95 on the four seam, 88 on the sinker and cutter, 85 on the changeup. This card's looking really good. Not as good as last year. Not as good speed differential between his pitches. He doesn't throw as hard as he did last year, but this card will be very, very good. Next off is Jose Abreu. I think this card is perfect for a no money spent first baseman. 116 uh, contact versus righties is really good. 81 contact versus lefties. 82 power versus righties and 115 versus lefties. Beautifully statted offensively. He's got the contact boost versus righties, but the power boost versus lefties. 79 fielding, so parallel one will get him to gold, uh, gold defense over at first and 46 speed. I do like Jose Abreu swing as well, so I think this card will be very good. Next off is Zach Wheeler, 101 stamina, 92 hits per nine, 82 Ks per nine, 96 walks per nine, which is really good, 86 control, 99 velo, and 97 break. He does not come with the outlier cork, so he's going to be getting that fastball around 98. He does have a four seam slider, sinker, curveball, and changeup. Uh, the only thing about this card, I wish that his uh, hits per nine and Ks per nine were a little bit higher, but I think it's probably pretty good. I don't know if he's better than Kluber, though. Uh, at 90 points in the program, we have this 42 series player, the pre-order edition. You can pick one of these cards to help you towards the Jackie Robinson collection, or you can just sell them on the marketplace. I think the most expensive one is Mariano going for around 32K. And at uh, 100 points, you have this 96 overall second base primary diamond lightning player of the month for Marcus Simeon. Now this card is a little underwhelming among them with the show community, but after using him a little bit, I think this card is phenomenal. The be uh, third best second baseman in the game. I do believe that second base is the most shallow position other than catcher in the game. And he is the third best behind uh, Alfonso Soriano and Jackie Robinson. Simeon has a beautiful swing. Uh, he's very good offensively. As you can see, 125 contact versus righties, 88 versus lefties, 93 versus righties, and 108 versus lefties. Kind of what I was talking about with Abreu. He has that contact boost versus righties and the power boost, boost versus lefties. As a middle infielder, 88 fielding, so parallel two will get him to diamond defense over at second and 73 speed, which is actually really good for Marcus Simeon card. So the first thing I suggest you do to get this card is do all of these moments. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Each one is going to give you four points, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine moments telling a total of four points, so that'll get you 36 points right there. 
And once you get those 36 points, then you want to do the missions. So you have to tally 30 total bases with players from the Top Now series. I hit five home runs with the Top Now series. Tally 15 strikeouts with the Top Now. And these Top Now cards are the ones right here. These ones, like the Alejandro Kirk, Anthony Rizzo, John Means, uh, Randy Arozarena, the ones that you do from getting the Tops Now moments. Those are Tops Now cards. Monthly awards cards are these cards up here. These are monthly awards. Like this Jose Abreu, he's a monthly award card. And you're going to have to do missions with him, so you have to tally three extra base hits with monthly awards Austin Meadows, two home runs with Jesse Winker, uh, 10 total bases with Brandon Crawford, 5 strikeouts with Ryan Tapera, 3 extra base hits with Ron Laureano, 9 strikeouts with Corey Kluber, 10 total bases with Jose Abreu, and 9 strikeouts with Zach Wheeler. Now here's the thing, if you're looking at this and you do all of these, this will get you to 98 points doing all of these. See, But you cannot complete the Marcus Simeon without collecting every single Tops Now and Monthly Awards card from the month of May. So you can do this set for completely for free. If you do all of the Tops Now moments and then complete this program, you'll get all of the cards for free. Or if you don't have all of them, you know, buy some. But once you get the collection done, it'll make it a lot easier. And you'll be able to skip out on a couple of missions. So I've already done a lot of these missions. Uh, how I do them, I go into Play vs. CPU right here. I play vs. the Orioles and I select my created stadium. Now if you're on... PS4 slash current gen on Xbox you might want to go to Yankee Stadium because they have a very short porch and right field and that'll help you out with the home runs and extra base hits but if you are on next gen like myself you want to go to a created stadium with max elevation and for me that's let's snow 5279 elevation the ball just absolutely carries no matter what PCI it is so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get these nine strikeouts with Corey Kluber and then we'll have the Marcus Simeon one thing I like to do to make the time go a little bit more quickly is to walk the first batter of the inning so then Corey Kluber can go out of the stretch instead of the windup. If you have a pitcher that goes out of the stretch, then you don't have to worry about it. But because it makes them work quicker out of the stretch, it saves time. Time is money. I like to save time. There's our first strikeout there with Kluber one away. We just need to get these nine strikeouts and then we'll be all good. Sini in a... 0-2 counts, we're going to go to the slurve, and we get the strikeout. Good pitch from Kluber. Got Danny Santander pitching Rebels favorite player in the game. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, if you guys are running with, uh, if you guys need the moments and the missions, make sure to run with an all-tops now team. That'll just save you time. As you can see, I got Austin Meadows. I have Dante Bichette in here just because, but if you guys want to get all of the missions done, you can possibly do it in one game. I wouldn't recommend it. And once you get maybe five strikeouts, if you need that, then you can quit and go back in. But I definitely suggest running with a whole Top Now team and monthly awards so you can get this done pretty quick and easy. So we'll go ahead and just bunt out of these innings with our hitters so that we can get right back on the mound with Kluber and get right back to work. Once again, we're walking the first batter of the inning just to make the time go by more quickly. Austin Hayes is going to step in with Kluber against CPU. I just like to start cutter, sinker, and then bust out the slur. And then usually they just fan at it just like that. That's how you get easy strikeouts. Make sure to play the Orioles on rookie. Just the Orioles because they're the first team and they're not that good. Sorry, Orioles fans. But just play the Orioles on rookie. No need to play them on a higher difficulty. Just play them on rookie. 0 2 count to Pat Vallejo. Dust away with the fastball. There we go. Fifth strikeout for Corey Kluber. Good pitch to Pedro Severino. Go sinker. Dust him off with a slurve. See ya. All right. Six strikeouts with Kluber. Almost done. We're going to go ahead and just bunt out of the inning once again. Just get the bunt down. There we go. We're just going to make three outs right there. And while you're grinding these uh, missions, make sure to actually hit. Don't just bun out of it like I am. Uh, I've already got all those missions done. The only one that I need to do is the Kluber mission. So that's why I'm bunting out of these innings. We have the pitcher Matt Harvey in an 0-2 count. Also SCS. Please release a flashback Matt Harvey. My favorite pitcher of all time. Even though I'm a Cardinal fan. I love the Dark Knight. Please. SCS. Please give us a prime flashback Matt Harvey. 
with the cutter, because that's why he threw it his prime. Go ahead, we're 0-2 on Cedric Mullins. I didn't bother walking the first batter because I just want to get these strikeouts fast. And the pitcher spot was up, which I knew was a guaranteed strikeout. Cedric Mullins always seemed to, seems to be the toughest out for some reason. He always seems to be a pesky hitter. There we go. Now just one more strikeout of Ryan Mountcastle, and then we will get our Marcus Simeon. There, strike one. There's definitely an argument to be made to not go for Marcus Simeon and just sell off the top now players. But as a no money spent player, I would definitely go for Marcus Simeon. He's a free monthly awards card, and I think he's one of the best second basemen in the game. As we get our final strikeout, we quit out of this game. And then we should be able to get Marcus Simeon. And we do. Marcus Simeon is added to the team. He'll go. Oh, that's not my team. I should take out Ryan McMahon, but he's just too freaking good, dude. Still batting 420. We're going to go ahead and add him in for Justin Turner. So we got Marcus Simeon here. And yeah, if you guys like the content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Make sure to get this Marcus Simeon card, guys. You will not regret it. Man, I love you guys and have a blessed day. Peace out.